Welcome back. Angry Admin here. In episode 22 of the Tech World podcast, we talked about the DoorDash problem, how AI agents optimize delivery routes to squeeze every minute of efficiency out of drivers. Today, I'm walking you through a small Python project I built that simulates DoorDash-style last-mile batching. Let's break down the code. First up, simulate orders. This function fakes a real stream of DoorDash orders. We loop over the number of orders we want, by default, 25, and for each one, we create a dictionary, ID, formatted like ORD001, ORD002, a random restaurant from Taco Bell, Chipotle, Sushi Place, Pizza Hut, Burger King, or McDonald's, a latitude and longitude slightly scattered around San Francisco, and a random order value between $20 and $70. Each order gets appended to the orders list, and at the end, we return that list. So this function gives us a realistic batch of fake food delivery jobs to play with. Next, driving minutes. This is a tiny driving time estimator. It uses the Haversine formula to calculate the distance between two points on Earth based on latitude and longitude. We then assume a city driving speed of about 48 kilometers per hour, divide the distance by that, and convert it into minutes. The final line, return round, gives us a realistic enough travel time like 6.4 minutes. This is crucial because DoorDash's batching relies entirely on knowing how far apart two orders are. Now the big one, find best batches. This is where the batching logic lives. First, we sort all orders by their latitude and longitude, which roughly lines them up on a map. We walk through the sorted list with an index I. Each order becomes our current anchor, and we start building a batch from it. Then the greedy batching happens. We look at the next one to three orders and check their driving time from the anchor. If they're under 12 minutes away, they get added to the batch. If not, batching stops. If we manage to form a batch of at least two orders, we estimate. The total time, if each order were delivered individually, the total time if the driver did the batch as one combined route, and then we compute the minutes saved. We store the results, the order IDs in the batch, the restaurants involved, the detour time, and the minutes saved. Then we skip past all orders already used and repeat the process. If we got unlucky and found fewer than three batches, the code injects a fallback batch so the output never looks empty. Finally, we sort all batches by minutes saved versus single, biggest savings first, and return the top four best ones. In the main block, we print a small header, simulate 28 orders, run the batching algorithm, and print the results as formatted JSON. You'll see something like this. That's our last mile batching list. The same kind of optimization DoorDash uses to decide which driver should take which combination of deliveries. And that's the full walkthrough of how our tiny DoorDash AI demo works. If you want to run it yourself, check the repo, link in the video description. And don't forget to listen to episode 22 for the full deep dive on Spotify. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment, and I'll see you in the next one.